Eating disorder recovery is easily one of the hardest things to deal with. Um, as you're about to see in this video, I was prescribed these milkshake meal supplement things by my GP um, to try and help me maintain my weight at a healthy level because, you know, eating disorder recovery is hard. I either binge eat or I don't eat and I was going through a phase of not eating. And I'm going to show you, there'll be a clip after this one showing me cooking a meal or meal. But then the day after I start the milkshake, I haven't been able to vlog the entire first week of these milkshakes. All I'm gonna say is I've dropped 10 kilograms in the space of a week because of the medication and it's fucking hard because while I'm, funnily enough my brain's like oh my god yes I dropped 10 kilograms I'm also like fuck I dropped 10 kilograms and that's scary and I'm not gonna lie starting taking these milkshakes was a huge step for me just because I didn't know what was in them I am very afraid of weight gain, I'm very afraid of the idea of recovery with my eating disorder, I just am. Um, this video is a hard one for me to put out, but I want to share it because this is what's going on in my life at the moment, and I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see it, and you all said yes. So, um, here we are. Let's, uh, let's get on with this. So, the drinks my GP prescribed me, because of food is a problem for me at the moment, are these. Um, it's a like, RVG valuable. For dietary management of patients with or at risk of developing disease related malnutrition for all use. Shake while once opened, cover and refrigerate usually within 24 hours. Store unopened at room temperature. There's a lot of ingredients and what it's got in it are... are a lot of calories. Uh, it's got 300 calories in the drink. Um, everything in that you'd need. So. It smells horrible. But I can smell it from here. It's terrible. I'm not looking forward to this. This is something my GP prescribed. And yes, I've been struggling a lot with food recently. Like a lot. Um, my anxiety has been so bad that even cut me up with. Oh, I literally hate that this is my life. I really do. There are so many aspects of my health that I can deal with. I can live with dissociation, I can live with flashbacks, I can live with depression, I can live with everything like that. Food is just the one thing that I just... I don't even know why it's the one thing I just can't deal with. I can't seem to get over. And no matter how hard I try, it just always comes back and bites me in the fucking ass. And we're at a point of fucking milkshakes and it's making me feel sick of drinking it. Why is it even such a problem that I want to lose weight? Why is it a problem? Why does it matter so much? It's taking me five fucking minutes to drink half of it. I asked on Twitter if you guys wanted me to vlog this and you said yeah. So that's why I'm filming. I probably would have filmed it anyway. Oh. Ugh. It's over. It's over. It's done. Thank God. I actually got it in the bin. Wow. So I just had one of the milkshakes. Uh, I've got the feeling I'm a bit allergic to them. Um, if you haven't seen my last video, I was in hospital briefly, that's why I haven't vlogged the rest of this little journey. I think I'm allergic to them because I, my skin keeps puffing up whenever I have one. If I've had one and if I puff up again, it's because of the milkshake. If it doesn't happen again, I definitely need to see my GP. Um, my throat probably sounds horrendous. It, I'm not gonna lie, it probably does. I'm waiting for the um, home treatment team to come and drop off my um, medication. Skin's starting to puff off. My hair looks like shit. My neck's all itchy. Um, I don't even know why. I've got a feeling that um, I've had an allergic reaction to something. And unfortunately, the only thing that's new is this. Um, so I'm gonna have this day. So we are in the morning. And if it's still in the morning, I'm gonna go to my GP. Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's 13.24 in the afternoon on Thursday. I'm waiting for a phone call from my pharmacist because I need my medication. Uh, I thought I'd sit down and record the last little bit of this video while I have a milkshake. 
I decided I'm going to be documenting every aspect of my eating disorder, which is something I've never done. And it's hard, very hard. Starting, like even acknowledging like that I needed help with it was a hard thing to do. Like turning around to my GP and being like, look, I can't keep doing this to myself. That was a big deal for me. That was a big, big step for me. And while yes, the idea of recovering terrifies me. It terrifies me the fact that I don't even know, like this is like how my life's been for so long now. I'm just so used to it. But the weird thing is these are supposed to like help you gain weight, right? They are like, weight gain supplements essentially. I've lost over 10 kilograms since I started using these and that's including like the little binges that I've had because I do binge eat sometimes. That's including that and like, I've just dropped the weight like it's nothing which is scary because like I mean it's pretty obvious on camera as well but I'm not the biggest of people. I'm five foot two I don't have the room to drop that much weight before it becomes dangerous especially when I'm already like on the lower spectrum healthy anyway. So I don't really know. I do need to see my GP about it though, which I'm probably gonna do tomorrow, hopefully. Operation Milkshake. Do you know what? I don't even know why I find it so hard to drink. I think it's because I can see the uh, calorie intake of it. Like this little 200 meter, milliliter of carton has like 300 calories in it. 300. 300 calories in that. I don't even want to take it. That's the thing, I don't even want to drink it. I'm only drinking it because I don't want to go under eating disorder services again. Mm. They do fire alarm tests every week. I was told I was going to get a phone call from a pharmacist at half past one. It's after half one. Oh, the fire alarm didn't go back off. What's well, new? I think people without eating disorders don't really realise how hard it is to recover or try recovery. Like, it's a whole other world. Because food is something that is around you all the time. No matter what situation you're in, it is around you. There are constant triggers. And the thing is, I've been trying, I've been trying so hard the last few years to just keep my weight up. And it had been going alright until this year, and then it kind of went out the window. And you can kind of he read in the book, in my book, about where the decline came in and where it started to happen and what went wrong. And you can read right in there. I don't want to talk too much about it now. It had been going well for a few years and then it didn't go well. I swear I literally only own black t-shirts. I edit all my videos and I'm just like, it looks like I have to wear the same t-shirt all the time, but I don't. I literally have black t-shirts. It's literally all I own. I'm gonna start wearing different colour t-shirts. I'm gonna buy different colour t-shirts just for videos because it looks so bad. I'm still in my fucking pyjamas as well. I don't know. I don't even know at this point. Oh, I know is I've still got a bruise on my fucking neck. Oh my god. I've, that's it. These milkshakes take me so long to drink. Oh my god. Oh, Britex is back in the news. Shock. The deal at the moment is fucking shit. I voted to leave, right? I wholeheartedly still stand by that decision and I wouldn't change my decision even now. I stand by my political opinion in the sense that leaving the EU is the best. Staying in the EU, just no. Just no. <laughs> Not my political opinion. Do I like the current Britex deal? No. Do I think it's gonna get passed? No. I reckon they're gonna have to revisit it. I don't think the current deal is anything that anyone's gonna accept. We'll talk about politics in my next live stream. There we go. I finished a milkshake. I didn't cry today. Yay. I didn't cry while drinking a milkshake. That's a good way to end this episode, I think. But yeah, uh, I, my laptop keeps going off. Why do I keep getting so many Facebook notifications at the moment? I'm gonna go. Uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, or leave a comment down below. If you have any questions or want advice or just have a video idea, leave them down below. My social media is all linked in the description. Yeah, if you're interested in my book, the link is in the description down below. My voice went really high pitched. I'm so sorry. I need to stop. Um, I'm gonna go and I hope you're doing all right. I don't know. How do I even end this? Do I, do I hit you with the milkshake today? I'm going to hit you with it. I love it. Every episode I end up hitting the camera or something. I'm going to end up needing a new lens by the end of this year. I keep hitting it with things. Oh, I'll hit you with the evil milkshake. There we go. It's not big enough. It's, my lens is too big. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Can I do it that way around? Will that work? It worked. It fits. That's what she said.
I'm gonna go. I need to stop. Bye, guys. Thank you.